Hey everyone and welcome back to another mukbang. I hope you're all having a great night tonight. We are going to be having some smoked salmon chowder. There was turkey bacon on top, but I've mixed it in now. I've had a couple of bites because I once again hit the record button and then turned it off. What is wrong with me? Anyways, um, I don't know why I did that because I just watched the clip too and I'm like, looking at the camera like it's recording and then I just like boop idiot okay this is really good mmm I like the potatoes I added the potatoes the recipe didn't call for potatoes I only had probably like four or five bites before I realized that I'm an idiot I've got some bread tonight and very crusty, very good. Um, Pretty wanted me to talk about what I think about Zayn Malik's song Pillow Talk. Honestly. You want me to give my honest opinion? <laughs> I'm not a fan of videos, music videos that are that sexualized. I think it's a bit overkill. I think that if you can't have your song stand out on its own and you need like all these visuals of naked women, that's a bit much. Um, I think, is it Gigi Hadid? Gorgeous. She's beautiful. He kind of looks like not my type, um, but. I was going to say a knockoff Justin Bieber, but he's British, so. I was just not a fan. I think I'm not really in the age range of what ages they want their music to listen. They want people to listen to their music. That made no sense, still. I just think I'm outside of the age range of people who listened to One Direction and that, that kind of shit. I'm old. <laughs> so you're not going to have me watch a music video like that and be like, oh yeah, that's great. Nah, I'm kind of old fashioned. My dog is going nuts in this crate. Um... What is he doing? Is he trying to like... You gotta open it up and move the bed. I think he's screwed up the bed now. That Doberman and now he's gonna come rushing out. Hey! Hey! Go back into your crate, buddy. Sometimes I can't with them. While I'm eating, they have to go in the crate. Darby was being particularly like needy and whiny, so I was like, nah, go put her away. I hate when I do this to myself when I like talk for a couple minutes. I didn't say anything. And let me adjust you, actually. Tilt it down a little bit. Too much of like the top of, not the top of my head, but like above my head is showing. Much better. Much better. Okay. Take a book out too. I'm glad you guys enjoyed my uh, cooking video so much yesterday. Or today that I posted. I'm pretty silly. Somebody wanted other accent type of videos. I could do like a Swedish, but I'm sure that I would fall out of doing Swedish because then I slip into doing Russian. <laughs> um, British. I could do that. I kind of have a shitty British accent too. 
Um, I could do like California girl. We would have to be making something like super healthy because I am a vegan. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just saying like if I played a California girl role, I would be. Well, I could do like a Wisconsin, you know. Taking it way back to the way back, you know. Um, I could do a down home southern south southern accent. <laughs> Here it was gonna fall. Uh, uh, no. So somebody emailed or didn't email me. Somebody left a comment and said that Trisha and um, Sean that their relationship is just business. I don't know about that, but because. She had mentioned the Vegas trip like a week ago or something with him. Um, then in her Valentine's Day video, she was talking about going to Vegas with him. And again, what she does is she says things to make people question and make people guess. So saying like, oh, I'm going to Vegas with my bae, it gets people like, Oh my god, are you going with Sean? Oh my god, who are you going with? Instead of just saying, like, going to Vegas with Sean, and people would have nothing to say over that, you know? I just keep making sure I'm recording because that was fucked. Hello, little kitten. He's like, how am I going to get up here? He found a way. Where there is a mound, there is a way. Oh. Hi. 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 He's probably like, are you going to feed me? I will feed you as soon as I'm done, little man. This stew is very filling, very delicious. Oh, my bubby. You got an eye booger. Come here. Goopy. Why are you goopy? Oh, he's stretching out. Have you been sleeping? Have you been sleeping? Come here. Just a manic Monday. Those carbs, though. <laughs> um. Growing up, my bands that we listened to were like Backstreet Boys and NSYNC. 98 Degrees came later on. But... Like, I remember Backstreet Boys music videos pretty good, and I don't remember ever seeing, like, a woman sitting spread eagle with a fucking flower shooting out of her vagina and, like, hearts over her nipples. Like, it's just too over-sexualized. And I feel like it's, um, a little bit ignorant for people to say... Like, I don't know how to put it. I think it's ignorant to say that it doesn't affect people's mentality. I think it's ignorant to say that that much sexualization does not impact people who watch those videos. Um, like I said, I'm an old-fashioned type of gal, so I don't really... for that kind of stuff. I think that, like I said in, in the beginning, that if the music was good, he wouldn't need those kind of visuals to lure people into the song. 
And let me just go over the lyrics, because that's something that I was like, what in the fuck is he saying? Oh, like, we're going to make the neighbors mad? Sorry. You're so sexy, beautiful, and that's why. Climb on board, we'll go slow and high tempo. Light and dark, hold me hard and mellow. I'm seeing the pain, seeing the pleasure. Nobody you, but you, body but me, body but us, bodies together. I'd love to hold you close tonight and always. I'd love to wake up next to you. I'd love to hold you close tonight and always. I'd love to wake up to next to you. This is the thing that I didn't understand. So we'll piss off the neighbors in the place that feels the tears the place to lose our fears. What, how the fuck are you going to piss off your neighbors with that shit? With the feel, feels the tears? Lose the fears. Yeah, reckless behavior. A place that is so pure, so dirty and raw. Be in bed all day, bed all day, bed all day. Fucking in, fighting on. It's paradise and it's our war zone. So it's just, from there on out, it's the same exact lyrics, just over and over again. No. No. I'm sorry. That's not good songwriting. That's not good lyrics. That's not... It's, it's, a, it's a... It is the thought of making a music video like that and then needing the lyrics to go along with it. That's how I feel. That's kind of how it came off. It didn't come off of like, oh, this is a great song that then we made a music video to. It was like, he just wanted to make a music video of like fucking sex and naked women and him smoking or vaping or whatever he was doing, smoke coming out of his mouth. It just did not do it for me. Now. You want to talk about some fucking music? Let's talk about Beyonce's formation. Okay, that is a song. That woman is such a badass. Okay, and I'm not even like a Beyonce fan. I'm not even a huge Beyonce fan. I am not. But, bitch, I can admit when someone is fucking good and on fire. Let me tell you, when she came out on that Super Bowl, I was like, bitch! And my boyfriend's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And I'm like, it's Beyonce! And then Bruno Mars. I think Bruno Mars came out. Yeah, Bruno Mars came out first, and then she came out. I'm getting chills just talking about it because I was so fucking hype. And when she, her crew gets up on the stage and they do that dance battle, fuck! I was like, this is magic! The only thing that I could have asked for was a, a pan out. Because during their little dance battle, the camera was in the middle of the stage and it was either pointed at Beyonce or pointed at Bruno. There was no like overhead shot or like pan of the stage or anything. Which I think they did that because they didn't want to show that, oh, there's a cameraman like right in the middle of the stage. But that shit was on fire, okay? On fire. I'm not a big Coldplay fan. I don't really care for Chris Martin. It's the Super Bowl for Americans. So I was like, really? Really? I get he's a global citizen. <laughs> but really? I don't know. I guess they've just run the gamut of like who is popular at the moment. And they're not American. That's what I keep going back to. 
I would have rather oh who fuck my chemical romance compared to Coldplay. I know that will piss some people off, but I was trying to look at like oh, these are all rap. Elton John. I mean, see, this is what I mean. I think this is the reason they had him do it. Because who? Fucking Justin Bieber. Oh my god. What do you mean? Oh my god. That would have been amazing. Please, Super Bowl next year, Justin Bieber. Yes. Please. Please. Something else we can talk about. PVP. The video of Jesse at the Super Bowl. Listen. I fucking hate Vitaly. I always have. I just think he's pompous. I think he's a dick. I think trying to do something like that, going on stage, going on the field during the Super Bowl. Really, Vitaly? Really? I just don't like him. He's not my type of person. And the fact that Jesse was like, still trying to help him do it. He, that, down a notch in my book, buddy. It's really immature. I'm glad they got kicked out of the game. That's rude. So what I mean, I'm an old person. Oh, what? I'm going to talk about this. Justin Bieber posted a picture on his Instagram page like two or three days ago. And Fousey was with him. I don't understand Fousey's deal. He's quit YouTube. He's come back. He's been depressed. He's like, good morning. I'm going to make it a beautiful day. I'm going to be happy today. And then in the next video, he'll be fucking so depressed and like down. For what reason? I want to know. Is there something in his life that legitimately makes him depressed? Or is that just him? So if that's just him, then... Do you know how many other people would like to be in his position of having millions of subscribers, making millions of dollars on YouTube, fucking hanging out with Justin Bieber? So many people would want to do that. But you have a platform, Fousey, and what do you decide to do with it? You decide to fucking say, oh, I'm depressed all the time, and then quit doing videos for a week. Nah. Nah. That's a cute face. No! So who sings that song that I was just singing? And that's why I still get jealous. You're so sexy, beautiful. Mm, you're so sexy, beautiful. And that's why I still get jealous. Nick Jonas, see? I, what I meant by see is I can enjoy boy band music. It just has to be good. It has to have something about it that like brings me back to it. I can't even, I just listened to that freaking Zayn Malik song like an hour ago and I can't even remember it. Because it was just terrible. The only part I remember is they're going to piss off the neighbors. And I just kept thinking, listening to it, like, how are you going to piss off the neighbors from your tears for fears and, like, letting your fears go? How is that going to piss off your neighbors? I don't understand. What do I know? Anyways, and I did watch, yeah, I watched Trisha's Valentine's Day Hall. That's why I talked about them going to Vegas. And the way that he talked about her in his video. This is what my boyfriend said. Oh, they're fucking. <laughs> I'm like, but are they in a relationship? And he's like, it doesn't matter. They're having sex. Like, you can tell that. It's like, okay. So... 
whoever said it's an inside, whoever said it is strictly business, do you have insider information? Though we do not. Are we blind? Am I that easily duped by Trisha Paytas? Hi. You're just a ham bone for attention today. Mm. I love you. I love you, kitten. I still get jealous. You're so sexy, Mamba Road. I don't want you to run away, that's why I can't let you outside. Mm. He's being such a lover. He's being such a lover. You are. You are. Aww. Mm -hmm. He loves his mommy. He loves his mommy, huh? I love you. I bet he'd love some of this salmon. Alright, one more bite. No. What do you guys want me to do for Valentine's Day? I was thinking... Of either making chocolate covered strawberries or buying some. And doing a video of that beforehand so that I don't have to do a video for Valentine's Day. I can just enjoy my day with my man. With my man. Um, and I forgot I had those flags, the little flags with the hearts on them. I don't really have a place to put them now. Since I don't have that plain wall behind me, I got this. But if you guys like me in this position, the only thing is, like, when I look forward, you only see that side of my face. I have to, like, turn my head, which is fine. I don't mind. And you're so close to me. You're so close. I can touch you. <laughs> okay, last, last bite. Sorry there hasn't been any like ancient history alien type of discussions. <coughs> and sadly, I will be honest, there probably won't be. I have a lot. Look, I'm trying to do the I hope that didn't sound like I was saying like a look. No. Like I'm trying to do the YouTuber Academy. And I'm already behind like four days. I I did some of it before the YouTuber Academy even started because I like thought that it would just help me to do some of those courses. Um, so that is until the end of the month, February 22nd. So Maybe at the end of that I will do a whole like video on Egypt and on my theories about ancient human civilization. I think the thing to remember is that the people who existed pre-Egypt, yes there might have been lots of civilizations and lots of like traveling to and from. The important thing to remember is I'm not saying they're like some sort of advanced civilization that had fucking computers. I'm just saying there was most definitely large groups of population pre-Egypt dynastic period. And why I think it's important to remember that is because we are forgetting every year that passes by and more people don't remember this fact, it's, it's getting pushed farther and farther back in history and less people are remembering. 
why it's important is because when we talk about ancient civilizations, Egypt is the first one we go back to because that's the oldest that we know of. That is not the oldest that existed. Yes, it's the oldest that we have the most advanced records of and like all this stuff, but there are records of other civilizations and so why Atlantis is important in this is because Atlantis was a myth for Plato as it is a myth for us. It was a myth for Plato that he f heard from the Egyptians. It was a myth to the Egyptians that they had gotten from the um, Indus Valley. The Indus Valley people, it was a story to them or a, a myth, but it was more of a story to them. What I think happened was at the end of the last Ice Age, which was 12,000 years ago, 10,000 years ago, 10,000 BC, not that fucking long, Gobekli Tepe is exactly 10,000 years old. So that alone shows us that yes, there was a group of civilization of people 10,000 years ago that was able to build this mass complex. I have now talked for 30 minutes, fuck. I was gonna end this early, damn it. Okay, I gotta go. See, once I get into it, like I can really get into it, but not tonight. Ah, I know, I wanna get into it too. We'll be back, don't you worry. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. I almost flipped you off for some reason. <laughs> hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. I make new videos every single day. <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye.